All right, folks, this is our 2021 uh, Gulfstream BT Cruiser 5210 lifted on the six inch Welltech um, off grid kit. Right away, you can see this awesome uh, Goliath steel bumper powder coated black with the fog and spot pattern uh, lights, blacked out factory OEM Ford grill, the worn. VR Evo 12,000 pound synthetic line winch worn fair lead in the factor uh, 55 thimble there coming back out and around this way first of seven powder coated black OEM Ford wheels with the 255 85 16 Falcon MT01 mud terrain tire you can see the well tech arms in the back here along with the fox shocks and springs this is built on the e350 cutaway chassis exterior mirrors have side view cameras uh, when you signal the cameras pop up on your uh, head unit on your radio display you see our pop out windows here Fantastic for getting some air moving. This does have the uh, max air fan as well. Onan QG 4000 watt generator. Plenty of power for everything you need to do. 200 amp hour lithium battery just added. Again, these OEM uh, powder coated black wheels. On just monstrous uh, 255, 85, 16. That's a 33 inch tire. 40 gallon water tank hookup there. 30 amp service. Tank flush, city water connection, and cable satellite hookup. Gray and black water tanks here. Another black uh, factory OEM uh, wheel with the Falcon 255. Again, I like how they do these black ladders on these rigs from the factory. It looks really sharp, really sharp. Uh, this one can tow 7,000 pounds or so. You got your six gallon Dometic water heater. Propane here. awning is in really great shape with the lights everything looks good screen is practically brand new no signs of wear door looks good has the built-in mini blind you can see the uh, steps retracted and you can actually lock those out so that they don't retract every time you open the door but just so that you can see those operate here your furnace vent with the bug screens to keep those flying uh, insects out of your um, heating system. Access to the refrigerator here. You got dual 110 volt GFCI protected uh, receptacles there. Good bit of storage under here. We keep camp chairs, firewood, sodas, um, you know, I don't know, camp propane, uh, shower, our, our 30 amp service uh, cable, just pretty much anything we travel with fits in this uh, this outside storage. All this is lockable, of course. So we're going to go ahead and step on in here. This up. That's a lock in place. Nice clear acrylic grab handle here. Always like those. Stepping in, you see the uh, carbon monoxide monitor. You see one of your propane furnace vents here, along with your DC battery on-off switch, your lockout for the stairs, and then a light control for uh, the light in the entryway here. Control panel, you can see 200 hours on that 
Onan generator, 205. Got the water heater on, awning light on, of course, saw that. Looking at the closet. Man, if you want to travel, you need a closet like this. Plenty of space. A couple weeks out, maybe more. We're kind of uh, light packers at times, but uh, even if we weren't, I think we'd be okay with this. Drawers pull out nice. Everything is smooth and new. Plenty of space in those drawers. Full-size gas range, three burner with the splash shield and the backsplash built into the uh, built into the range there. Range hood with the light, 1,350 watt uh, microwave, enough power to get whatever you need cooking. Oversink storage and cabinets here look really good, right? It's a fair bit of storage. Air storage under the sink. Cabinet one. Sorry, drawer one. Drawer two. Fuse panel. That's the opposite side of the furnace where I showed you on the exterior. You've also got a furnace vent under this uh, jackknife sofa. Stainless fridge and freezer. No combo unit here. This one is dual power. Runs off of gas or uh, AC. And has an auto, uh, has an auto mode. All right. Fridge, good size fridge. Plenty of drinks in here. Thermostat controls the Dometic Penguin air conditioner. We'll do your fan, cool, furnace, all your controls from this one thermostat. Going ahead and opening the bathroom door here. Full shower, no wet bath. It's a big deal hate my toilet being in my shower or my shower being in my toilet depending on your perspective in life nice uh skylight here with the power uh, exhaust fan in the bathroom gfci's in the bathroom as it should be light control on the wall medicine cabinet storage under the sink as well under the vanity rather. Toilet is brand new. Uh, I'm not sure that this um, toilet has ever been used uh, in this rig. The uh, access panel for the rear spare tire is there. Blinds will raise all the way up and you guys saw that pop out kitchen from the, uh, from the or pop out window at the kitchen. Touch light underneath with some cool blue accent lighting. GFCI in the kitchen as well. Getting to the bedding. Dual jackknife sofas. Both of these come down similarly. We sleep in this configuration. Got this filler panel for the uh, stainless sink out here. Go ahead and throw that back. Okay. Just to show you that that fits. Sit this here. Water is good. Hot water, cold water. Jackknife sofas, like I said, lay down. You can see this window popped out. Uh, coming to you from Gamble Rogers State Park here in uh, Flagler Beach, Florida. Scirocco fan that we added per a uh, YouTube channel that we're subscribed to. It kicks it out if you're not familiar with this fan. It is a, a nice one. Remote for the Max Air ceiling fan here overhead. That's that one. Cabinets. Even more storage. Can you believe it? 
These go all the way through. There's no divider. So if you got some long items that need to cram in there, more than uh, more than enough space. Same thing on this side. Uh, one thing I need to mention here is your window shades pull down, lock into place. All right in the morning. Set these bad boys back up. You're ready to ride. Storage in the uh, media center, I guess you would call that here. Brandy has this ivy in place, so uh, it's kind of difficult to show. A 40 inch smart TV. Same kind of uh, storage over here. We use the T-Mobile uh, wireless home internet connection for the motor home. Uh, and I think that that is about it. You can see the air conditioner up here on the ceiling along with the outlet or the uh, vents for the uh, air conditioner itself. Those are spread throughout. It's just a really solid, really solid platform.